Hi, this is Farmer Danielle with Green Our Planet. We're here at Owen Roundy Elementary School in Las Vegas. Because garden maintenance is so important, the second grade class coming out today will be helping me pull some weeds. But you'll be surprised, students actually love to pull weeds. We'll be learning a little bit about plant anatomy, why weeds grow the way they do, how they reseed, and then we'll get to work. What is a weed? Well, it does grow out of the ground. It grows from the ground like many plants, right? It does make something. Just like all plants, weeds make leaves. Okay? They make this stuff underground that drinks up water. What's that called? Roots. Roots. And they also make something on top. A they make a flower, that's right. And then what comes out of the flower? Seeds. Good job. Seeds. They can make seeds. Okay? So seeds, roots, and you guys can actually copy this picture in your notebook if you want. Just a little bit of review. They have roots. They have leaves. They have a stem. And they make flowers. Yeah. Weeds are just like all other plants, right? Now, is there any type of plant that, that is always a weed? Or what, like, what is a weed? Is it, is it always the same type of plant? No. Weeds can be bad, right? They can be bad, but are they always bad? No. No. Okay. Does anyone else have a definition for a weed? A garden weed? Okay. So my definition of a garden weed is a plant that pops up in your garden when you didn't plant it there and when you don't want it there, okay? And it's a plant that take up space in our garden. What other things might they take from our garden plants, our garden vegetables? They might take the sunlight. What else might they take? They might take the water from our plants. So, what do we do with weeds? What do we do with weeds? We rip them out. We pull them out. Yeah. Pull we pull them out. Them out. Them now I have a question for you. What if a weed is just growing right here, far away from our garden beds? Do you think it'll do any harm? No. no. Maybe not. But what about this? What if that weed plant grows flowers? Mm -hmm. And what if it makes seeds? That's a good one. It'll grow more. It'll grow more because those seeds will fall to the ground, they'll grow new plants, or some weeds, certain types of plants, have seeds that can travel. They have seeds that can blow around in the air, okay? And there's one example of a plant that uh, we call a weed, okay? And it's really beautiful, and when it, oh, we actually have some growing in our field right now, actually, okay? It has a long stem, and on the tip it has these beautiful fluffies, and, oh. Okay, and if you have a wish, you would blow on it, you would try to blow all of the fluffies off, but you know what's attached to those fluffies? Seeds. 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 Okay, and that type of plant is called a dandelion, okay, and when those dandelion fluffies go flying around, they'll land somewhere, and that seed will plant itself, and it'll grow another dandelion. All right? Dandelions are so beautiful, right? Yeah. But do we want them growing in our garden bed? Yeah. Maybe not. Now we know that even when plants are beautiful and they help us grant our wishes, we know that we should probably pull them out if we don't want them growing in our garden, right? We call those weeds, okay? So today, what do you think we're gonna do together? We're gonna pull out weeds. We're gonna pull out weeds. Raise your hand if you... Yay! Raise your hand if you are so excited about pulling out weeds. I love pulling out weeds. Well, I hate doing it at home because we have to do it every single day. 
You have to do it every day? That's good exercise. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so we're going to pull out some weeds. We're just going to use our hands because our hands are our greatest tools, right? We're going to use our hands. And now when we pull out weeds, do you think we should um, only pull off the flowers? Do you think we should only pull off the leaves? How do we pull out a weed? We should pull out the root. That's right. Because if you only pulled off the leaves, this root is going to be underground going, ha, 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 ha. I am going to grow some more leaves and I'm just going to grow right back, right? So when we pull out weeds, we have to pull out the whole thing from the root. Everyone say, from the root. From the root. Okay. You did that in first grade. Raise your hand if you pulled weeds before. Amazing. I don't have to teach you guys anything. All right. So we're going to pull some weeds today. I want to walk you guys over to another spot where I saw tons of weeds growing. When you see a lot of weeds, you know that there is probably a lot of water right there, right? Because weeds are plants and plants love water. water. They love water, right? So in our garden beds, this is where our vegetables are growing. But most of the weeds, my friends, they're actually growing outside of the garden bed. Okay, so take a look over here. Do you guys see all of these plants right here? Yeah. I did not plant these. Everyone just take three big steps back so that more people can see. Wait a minute, are those weeds? These are weeds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use my hand. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna try my very best to pull it out by the roots. There are a bunch of very small plants all super close together, right? Okay, so there's a lot growing over here. And some of them might be kind of hard to get the roots out, but that's okay as long as we do our best. <gasps> that's a really big root. Wow, that's bigger than the plant. Looks like that plant was looking for a lot of water, huh? It was stretching its roots out to try to drink up water. <laughs> all right, there are more weeds growing all over the garden, so let's go on a hunt for some more. We have different types of plants, right? They're not all the same type of plant. Oh, look, there's some growing under our tree right here, too. Wow, that's a good one. Those are weeds, yes. Anything that's, usually anything that's growing outside our garden beds is a weed, but there are some things like our flowers and our little onion here. That's a good one. Wow. Good job, guys. Let's keep roaming around. Another spot where we'll find a lot of weeds is snuggling up against the side of our garden bed. The best idea is to get your hand really close to the bottom of the plant so that you can get the root out. Wow, good job. Okay, so if you pulled out weeds, you know what we'll do is we'll make a pile. Let's make a pile just right here in the middle so that we can look at how giant our pile gets at the end. Yeah, one pile. Let's try to make a really big mountain of weeds. There's lots of worms under. So the more weeds we pull, like last week I was pulling big weeds out and there were some big worms under there actually. They like it where the soil's nice and cool and where it's dark. Oh, here's one. I hold it? I hold it. Okay. So the thing about worms, guys, is that they don't really like the sunlight. Worms like it where it's dark and wet. and they like to sit at the bottom of plants' roots. They really like that. Worms like to sit at the bottom of plants' roots. Worms like their bodies to be nice and wet. Let's see, maybe if I dig up these ones, they'll be underneath. All right. Ooh, like these. This is a bunch of weeds. Here's a big one. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Wait, wait, wait. So if I hold it, I can show everybody, right? I don't hold it. Can I hold it? Hold on. It's so big. Is that a worm? It is a worm. Can I hold it? 
Why don't you just touch it and then I'll walk around so that everybody can see it, okay? So where did I find the worm? In the soil. I found the worm close to plants' roots, right? That's because worms like to hang out and they like to eat old parts of plants. So they're usually right underneath plants because they're trying to look for old plants to eat. You want to hold it? Okay, make sure you show your classmates then, okay? Share the worm with your classmates. And we have some people still pulling weeds and I love that, that's awesome. Here's a big one right here. So I'll take this worm back. I want to tell you guys a few interesting things about worms, okay? Everyone go ahead and give your baby worms to me and I'll keep them nice and cozy. Nice and shaded in my hand. Okay, so what types of things do we know about worms? Does it? Oh, I know. Worms' bodies are sticky because they're wet. What else do we know about worms? Let's raise our hand. Let's raise our hand. Yes? They hang out under plants. I know. That's something we discovered. Okay, yes? They help the plants grow. They help the plants grow. Why is that? Because they have water on the shelf and they're wet. Maybe. What do worms eat? Plants. Plants. They eat plants. old plants. Yeah, they eat old plants that are that have already died, right? And what do they do with all of that old plant food? What do they turn it into? They turn it into soil. And that's why worms are so good for our plants, right? Because they make fresh, healthy soil. Yeah. They're good for our environment. That's correct. Now, worms love to be under the soil. They love the darkness because their bodies are very sensitive to light. We call that photosensitive. Everyone say photosensitive. Photosensitive. When they're photosensitive, that means their skin kind of gets uncomfortable when they're in the light for too long. Okay, and so that's why worms like to stay underground. And that's why if you were holding a little worm in your hand and if it started to wiggle around all crazy, that's because its skin was very uncomfortable and wanted to go back in the cool darkness. Yeah, okay. Worms are really cool because they don't have eyes, right? They don't have a nose, they only have a mouth, but they have a little sensor on their head where they can sense light. Do you think they go towards the light or away from it? Away. They go away from it because they like the darkness. Right? That's pretty cool. We got to learn about worms. Does anyone remember something we learned about weeds today? Because we were pulling weeds. Would anyone like to share? They make flowers and seeds. Weeds make flowers and seeds. Weeds are just normal old plants that make flowers and seeds. Raise your hand if you had fun. That's the most important thing. All right, you guys. I'm going to put these little worms back underground so that they can have a rest from the sunlight. Go ahead and grab your notebooks and it's time to line up. Thank you. Thanks, second graders. Awesome job today. Thanks for your help keeping the garden healthy.